Okay, we're going to talk about DCIS. And Laszlo just beats me up every time I say DCIS. So most of the slides are going to say carcinoma in situ because his point is about 85% of it starts in the TDLU, so how can you call it ductal? It's carcinoma in situ, not ductal. So he's come up with these terms, adenocarcinoma duct origin or adenocarcinoma acinar origin, and he's got these acronyms, and he, you know, he thinks that's more valuable than luminal A or luminal B or all this new garbage they're coming up with. But I have to admit that I'm undereducated on luminal A and luminal B, and I probably need to adopt some of that in my talks, even though I, I've tended not to look at it very carefully because Laszlo doesn't believe in it, and I tend to believe everything Laszlo says. So <laughs> if Laszlo doesn't believe in it, I don't believe in it, you know. But I probably should investigate it myself because... About 5% of the time I disagree with them, and once I read it, maybe, maybe I'll say, you know, Laszlo, you better take a second look at it. But, but right now, he says it's no good, and so I haven't paid any attention to it. So if, if you're upset that I haven't mentioned luminal A or luminal B, I'm giving you the background why I haven't mentioned it. Laszlo tells me it's not worth anything. All right, breast cancer is heterogeneous, and in situ carcinoma is a subset of breast cancer is also heterogeneous. Looking for carcinoma in situ on ultrasound is not rocket science. It's not something only I can do. Every single person in this room can do it. But you need to, how to learn to do it the right way. And it has to be based on a true understanding of anatomy and histopathology, not dumb pattern recognition. And also you have to know when to do it.